right, so what today I'm working with is a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. I got it taped and push pinned in the back. I've painted my edges with black because this color palette, I don't want the white canvas seeping through the uh, darker colors that I've got going on in this painting. So let's talk about the colors real quick. I am using titanium white mixed with the Deco Art Satin Enamels White. Now I haven't used Satin Enamels in a long time. Honestly, sometimes I kind of forget about it, but in any case, that's what we're gonna use today. And what I've mixed these paints with is um, Liquitex Gloss Medium paint and Floetrol. There's very little water because I wanted to keep the paints fairly thick, uh, but it, some of it's got water, so uh, that's that color. I am using Pebeo Studio Acrylic in the yellow green mixed with some of the Amsterdam Reflex Green. I'm using Cerulean Blue from Liquitex Basics. 24 karat gold, of course. Dioxazine Purple from the Liquitex Basics. This is a custom color that I'm used. I'm using Iridescent Copper from Pebeo mixed with the permanent red violet. That gave me a color very similar to the fire opal. I am out of the fire opal. I didn't have time to go down to Michael's. And so I kind of created this myself. And then I'm going to use a uh, black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a straight pour. I'm gonna need 14 ounces of paint, but I've got a 16 ounce cup because I want to overfill my cup. And some of you might be wondering, why would I want to overfill my cup? The reason why I want to overfill is because when I'm stretching out my canvas, sometimes I get that last corner that's getting so hard to stretch. So if I figure if I have a little bit of extra paint, that will work out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to throw a little bit of white here in the bottom. I'm going to throw the green next to it. Mina says, don't put that green next to any red or pink. So I promise you, Mina, I'm not doing it. Uh, we've got the cerulean blue. Got more gold. Purple. Beautiful copper color and some black. Small little layers there. Now I'm gonna come in with some slightly thicker layers. All right, so I am gonna pour into a puddle of gold as well. Just because. Get some gold cells out of that. And we're gonna pour right here, right into the gold.
Well, looks great. A little off-centered, but that's okay. <laughs> great color palette, what's happening in here. It's gonna open up really, really nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my leftover paints. I'm gonna use the white. I wanna bring you guys in here to see this. This is just fantastic. Before even stretching it out, look at all the fingerlings color combination. It's really gorgeous. Just beautiful. All right, so let's put some flow extender around this. If you notice, I'm not pouring my flow extender right up against my pour because I don't, I'm going to push the paint up to the edge myself i don't want this to run into my paint because i don't want my black to start to cover my pour Torch this. All right, I'm gonna open this up now.
All right, so I am going to clean up my edges. I'm going to leave it right here. I, um, these paints were a little bit thinner than I anticipated them to be when they were coming out. Everything was going really great. Um, I just noticed that the purple was a little thicker than the other colors, so it didn't move as fast as the other colors did. All right, so here is the wet result. Got a lot of fingerlings, a lot of cells. Um, so what's that saying that Gina always says? Sauce tends to thicken upon standing. That's exactly what happened with the uh, purple in this. The purple thickened up a little more so than the other colors. I should have done a uh, drip test to make sure that these were still the same consistency because as I was tilting, the purple was not moving as fast as the other colors. So nonetheless, I still love this piece. I love what I got out of this. And this is gonna be a good one to go in my Christmas show. So I can't wait for this to dry. And then I'll end up probably putting some uh, Liquitex gloss, meat, uh, gloss varnish on this one. So let me bring you in. All right, we'll see what's when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, this dried just beautiful. Loving the fingerlings, all the gold cells. Just great. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. Wow, really dried great. I got a lot of fingerlings, just loving all of them. Lots and lots of gold cells pouring into that puddle of gold. Um, even through the green, the cells pop through. Really dried well, I'm very happy with it. So I'm gonna put a coat of gloss varnish on this one and hopefully gonna sell that at the uh, Christmas location where I'm putting all my art and stuff in it. So. Very excited about it. Thank you everyone for watching. Everyone have a great Sunday. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. Everyone have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.